Ladies and gentlemen, Dev is a bad reaper, not always after the ripe fruits. The country is in a sober mood. This is after uh, the hillside at the Russia Academy in Nyeri had a fire tragedy on Friday night. Ladies and gentlemen, our parents are crying. Our children are crying. The nation is weeping. 18 innocent kids dead. 14 seriously injured. 72 not known where they are. We don't know whether they perished in the four hours inferno or they managed to escape. 27 hospitalized. The fire that started at 11 p.m. took four hours and it is very, very painful. Extremely painful, ladies and gentlemen. The cause of fire is still unknown. And as at now, no remains of nobody no, has been removed. The school is still condoned by the investigation officers. Ladies and gentlemen, please, Pass your condolences to the parents and the relatives whose children perished in this inferno. Just write, lest in peace, fare thee well, or whatever may please you in the comment section. It is a moment of pain, a moment of heartbreak. And there is no pain to a parent than actually burying your child. In terms of war, that is the time that parents should bury their children. But in terms of peace, parents should bury, should not be buried. I mean, in terms of peace, it is the children who should bury the parents, not vice versa. A piercing stretch of death still hovering in Edda Russia Academy. Wakati abapo malaika wa mauti abaye tunamuita Israeli kwa kiswahili. Alitebelea shule ile. And this is very, very, very painful. Wazazi wote abao wameachwa na tuto wao. Channel hii ya Gashi's Kaman TV Inatuma rabi rabi zake kwenu Tunabiwa makiwa Poleni It is well It is well In this country I've always said That I don't support Boarding school I don't support boarding school I'm looking at the case of Edarasha, where you have 156 kids between 9 and maybe 13 years in one dormitory, sleeping at night. Nobody to keep vigil at night. I remember school, I don't know the, the, the name of that school. The school is in Boston. One time, I was going through uh, the, 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 the way you would be interested by looking at something A school maybe uh, in a certain place Boston in USA And I noted one thing That even in boarding schools At night there is always a teacher Keeping vigil at night Watching over those kids at night as they sleep In Kenya Because at 11 these kids were asleep, deep asleep Nobody to see what was happening. Where was the matron? Where were the teachers? 
Where was the watchman? It raises so many questions. And in fact, parents in Kenya have been running away from their responsibilities. And I'm sorry to say this, but sometimes it's good to call a spade a spade. Because we are so busy, we don't want, we are busy looking for money, or we want to look posh. We take a six year old kid to a boarding school. I think you should have a serious conversation. Let me ask you. Should we abolish boarding primary school? Because if you ask me, this is something that I don't support. I look at um, even boarding school in high school. When you look at our boarding schools, they look like prison camps. It's the high time we have this conversation. And I think Makoha, there is Makoha, and may God rest his soul in eternal peace. He started this conversation of doing away with boarding schools. And, ladies and gentlemen, when I look at the way some of these domes are constructed, like this one, the case of Edarasha, I noted that the dome was partially made of wood. Contrary, to the guidelines of the Ministry of Education. That the domes should be made of stone and concrete in that matter, not wood. So when you look at it, you see there are various gaps. This reminds us of other past incidences. I myself, at the University of Nairobi, witnessed the death of a student, a colleague, a comrade, the University of Nairobi, who perished in an inferno. Mururi, for those of you who remember Mururi, who perished in, a, in an accident. Was it called John Mururi? Who was a student leader. Never what was corrected was just ashes. And that picture is still in my mind. Up to today, many years, but still fresh in my mind. Remember about Chaguri also? Remember Dimi Zamauti? Wakati Bapo Ziritebea Kule? Remember Nyeri Hai also? And I do not like to keep on mentioning these incidents because there are so many. But we seem not to learn. Because of corruption, we are perishing because of corruption. We need to have a serious conversation. Otherwise, we are going to talk about these things in future. How I wish that this remain the last incident. And the big question that people are asking is about the 22 are known. Where are they? If at 18 perished, 27 missing, no, 27 hospitalized, where are the 22? I don't want to imagine. I don't want to imagine. Because imagine an inferno, four hours. Kids between 9 and 13 years. May God have mercy on this country. May God have mercy on our schools, on our academies, on our universities, on our colleges. The leadership in this country is wanting. I've always said this. Samaki Huoza Kwanzia Kichwane. We expect the government to move with speed and do what is necessary. Compensate this period. No, no amount of money can compensate uh, uh, this. But at least do something. Has, was the school insured? These are the questions that we should be asking. Ladies and gentlemen, it is painful. It is sad. It is something 
that one would not like to imagine. Lakini, naoba tuja mmoja, tuwape rabi rabi, wazazi, jamaa na marafiki, wa aila hizi, abazo, zimeachwa. It's not easy to look at a coffin of your own child. It's not easy. It's not easy to imagine that that child will not come back home. It's not easy that you took the child as one piece and you are getting pieces of that child's body. I don't know what you think, but from where I sit, it's painful, very, very painful. Uchugu usio midhirika. Hasira isweleweka. But... God is still on the throne. Sina megi ila hayo tu na kuapa pole tena zaidi wale wote abao wameathirika na mkasa huu. Bye bye.